Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again today on Nolly Reviews. My name is Orodo Afadir and for those joining me for the first time, and like I always say, the subscribe button is just down below this video and once you click it, you won't regret doing so. That's a promise from me. Okay, so like I always do every, like I started this like two months back, I bring you my top five movie movies of the month. And today I'm bringing you my top five movies for the month of November. Yes, like I always tell you guys, these movies that I'm bringing, my top five movies, they are not in any particular order. They are not in any, um, they are not placed above each other due to one reason or another. I'm just giving you my top five movies. So let's go to the first one. The first movie I'm bringing to you today is Kuru Kuru. Kuru Kuru Fog, a fantastic story by Ye Wande Adekoya Abiodun. If you haven't watched it, I want you to go and watch it. Even though this movie has two parts, you can only find the first part presently. But when you watch it, you understand why I'm bringing it as one of my top five movies for the month of November. Fantastic storyline, suspense field, good acting and directing. A wonderful job by Odulade Adekola. He did a fantastic job in this movie. He acted well, even. Ye one day herself, she acted well in this movie. She acted the role of a blind lady. And all the way she did well. So I say well done to Ye one day Adekoya Abiodu. Okay, so to the second movie that I'll be bringing to you today, the title is Obiri. Obiri is also another one with two parts, part one and two. But I tell you that when you watch this movie, you will love it all the way. It explains the complicated life that women live. Yes, women are very complicated. There's this saying in Yoruba that Oremeji ti o ba ti bara won ja obirin o ti wa ri won ni I don't know if I said that to Yoruba um saying correctly but it's something like that and I think you are familiar with what I'm trying to say I love those stories a story by Tumi Toriola and like I said it's like the first time I'm seeing her producing a movie and she really acted the lead actress role she, she did it in a fantastic way I felt like she knew what she wanted in this movie and she did it well she brought it well to the table okay so let me go to the next movie which is Beyond Disability before I go on, please remember that these movies that I'm bringing to you are in no particular order. So please take note. Okay, so back to Beyond Disability. This is the story by Iyabo Ojo and she did a fantastic job. She really nailed it with this movie. It was directed by Desmond Elliott and you know Desmond Elliott. He never does anyhow kind of jobs. So this movie itself um portrays the kind of life that a lot of women live maybe because they have a disabled child they feel like they don't want to associate themselves with that child but in this movie um yabo ojo tried to send a message there are abilities that these children have and so they should not be neglected i really really love the story i love the way it ended i love the acting you see Niedo in the movie there's modelos yabo ojo femi adebayo and so on Okay, so to the fourth movie that I'll be bringing to you today, it is The Cobweb, The Cobweb, a movie by Foluke Dara Mola Salako, a fantastic story, good cinematography, good acting, good storyline. Even though the story was based on true events, but it is still something that we can relate with in our everyday lives, you know, um, issues about fa between parents and children, when children have love for something or interest or talent for something and, and their parents want them to be who they would have loved to be, you know, while they were younger. This is a good story that describes that such a situation you know it's always good that parents want their children to surpass them it's a good thing but at the same time i believe in encouraging your children when you discover a, a particular gift or talent just encourage them and make them combine whatever you want them to do combine it together you know there's a way you can encourage them and then they'll be a better person in future okay so let me go to the fifth movie for my top five movies today guess I really had a hard time bringing my top 5 reviews this time around because there were some other movies that really competed with these ones that I listed but I still feel like anyways I need to deliver yes so the last one I'm bringing is Ishedu Kong Thin Line a story by Fade Kemi Momo and directed by Damola Olatsuji I watched this movie and I love the way it ended you know 
this movie um, centers on the kind of life that um, single women, um, you know, a lot of people like to like enjoy life. It is good to enjoy life, but when you are, you are dating um, someone that is young enough to be your son or grandson, you know, the 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 pros and the cons of that kind of relationship was actually um, displayed in this movie. I don't want to say too much about this movie, but let me say, let me give you the list all over again. Kuru Kuru, Obinri, Beyond Disability, Cobweb, and Ishedu Kon. Okay, thank you so much for joining Only Reviews. This is a channel you can always come to on YouTube and you feel like watching a movie, English, Yoruba, anyone. Just come to Nolly Reviews on YouTube and pick a movie that I have reviewed and you won't regret doing so. That is a promise from me and I promise to keep to it. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay blessed and remember, God loves you. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.